Efter vores forhold er det her jo et forholdsvis stort samfund, men set med andre øjne er det jo meget lille. Og det har jo tidligere været endnu mindre. Alle vidste alt om alle. Der sker øh, en del vold i, i samlivsforhold i ægteskaber. Det er også godt, at en del af den vold ikke bliver med. Der ligger nok også noget i, i, i fra, fra gamle tid i, at man i noget omfang ikke øh, blander sig og de ting, de foregår. Men man ved det. Ilulusat, Greenland, a Danish colony 250 miles north of the Arctic Circle. A murder has been committed. This is a place where people still hunt for a living, where many crimes go unpunished and many convicted criminals walk free. But Greenland's traditions of merciful justice are under pressure to change. Every crime is now a test case. First, the local police must unravel a history of tortured relations within the community. A community where abuse and violence will have been suppressed or concealed for years. Var her på stationen, der, der blev ringet, at øh, der var, var nok alt derude, når jeg var en, når hun havde stukket, der var stukket med kniv. Det var den mening, vi fik. Da vi så kommer ud ganske få minutter efter det, finder vi så, at Nalle sidder grædende på trappen lige uden for øh, døren ind til sin lejlighed. Og der sidder hun sammen med sin ældste datter. Og hun har kniven i, i hånden. Så da vi kommer ind, så ser vi, at hendes mand han ligger og på køkkengålet med hovedet lige ud til entréen. Og en stor blodpøl, og han er livløs. Akalorak Jeremiasen. A 32-year-old father of four has been stabbed twice with a kitchen knife. His wounds have proved fatal. While the local police begin the work of sifting through the physical evidence, their prime suspect is being held in one of the station's basement cells. It's the victim's wife, Nalu Jeremiasen. <laughs> Bent Heiselberg, a Dane who moved to Greenland 20 years ago, is a Lulisat's chief of police. He is responsible for the criminal investigation. I mean, I think there are no doubt about it that she has committed murder, and that she has also been accused. But there can also be some things that make it that the court may maybe will see on it with a little milder eye. There is no doubt about it. We have a innocent man who is dead. It is completely fixed, and it is. Even though her guilt is not in question, her punishment will be decided by what actually led her to murder. Nalu could face years in jail, separated from her children, but she could also be acquitted. It all depends on what Heiselberg and his men can discover about her past. 
كشني أقرق تقنا تكينا تمارينا كوري من أشتويون كورا ألا ألا قام قصارع بنا تقولنا من ما أسمين أي طريقة سكوت ألاقا كشيء Nalu's fate is in the hands of a unique system of justice. In towns like Luluset, there are no professional lawyers or judges. The court is run by amateurs without legal qualifications. Jens Kelsen is another Dane who's made a life for himself in Greenland. He is a stonemason, ship's captain, and a local judge. But we function together with ordinary people to the daily. We meet them after our right handling. We're on the same level. We can say that we know what they're wearing. And that says that they should wear. Judge Kelsen has personal knowledge of Nalu's case, having been friends with her now deceased husband. He has been a glad connect that lived around there. I know his parents have visited him often and spoken with him often. He has worked for me later, ten years after. We have driven together and sailed on the sea together. Nalu is a Han øh, begyndte at arbejde over i Lulisset på værtshus som dørmand. Han spillede også musik, og han havde ærligt talt ikke ret meget respekt dengang for folk derovre, som drak meget og som var meget voldelige. Det husker jeg tydeligt, han, han snakkede om. Så at deres tilværelse kunne tage en drejning nu, øh, som kunne blive så voldsom, at den endte med hans død der, det overrasker mig meget. Illulisset has a rate of violent crime 18 times higher than that in Denmark. Ja, jeg kiggede lidt på sidste års voldsager og og prøvede at lave en profil af en voldsmand. Og han er i begyndelsen af 30'erne. Han er spirituspåvirket, og han øver vold mod en, han kender. Det er også rigtigt, at offeret jo i mange tilfælde også er spirituspåvirket. Og det er jo der, hæmningerne de forsvinder, og aggressionerne måske kommer frem. Okay, okay, nu ser Vi var vidne om, at hun flere gange havde været udsat for, for hustruvold. Og nogle gange havde hun også sådan spontant anmeldt det. Og når så man skulle snakke med hende om mandagen, så ville hun ikke have gjort noget alligevel af hensyn til børnene. Og sådan noget. Men altså, der kunne vi se, at hun har, hun har været nede på sygehuset flere gange, og hun er blevet slået kraftigt af ham. Jeg har bare en opgave, så jeg tænker, 
In the neighboring cell, the police have detained a hunter. His case may give a clue as to what Nalu's fate will be. Jens Reimer has assaulted his wife. She's in hospital fighting for her life with head injuries and kidney failure. With Jens in police custody, his little brother, John Reimer, must go hunting without him. Men der er øh, som så mange andre steder i verden øh, det er hovedsageligt mændene der tæver kvinderne. Og meget ofte bunder det jo i, at man mener, at man har en eller anden ejendomsret, som man skal håndhæve. Øh, her i Grønland har kvinder i hvert fald i, i mange år mere eller mindre fundet sig i det. Men de tider er ved at være slut. Heiselberg holds two offenders in adjacent cells. His investigation into what incited them to such violence will become the case for the prosecution. The Alulaset police are investigating two cases of violent assault. Nalu Jeremiasen faces a murder charge, but it could be months before her case comes to trial. Nalu's fate will ultimately be decided in court. However, in this region of the Arctic, an unusually pragmatic system of justice is at work. I Grønland er vi en lille befolkning, 
spredt over et stort område. Men det gør, at vi må klare os med dem, vi er. Vi må sætte pris på de kvaliteter, folk har, og forsøge at leve med deres mangler. Og det er nødvendigt med den tolerance, for at vi kan fungere heroppe. Det er nok det, der afspejler sig i vores kriminallov, at vi sætter det højt og rehabiliterer forbryderen. In the spirit of rehabilitation, the local court is obliged to give more weight to the circumstances of the criminal than to the crime itself. And this might be significant for Nalu. At man vil se på, hvordan har forholdene været i det hjem der? Har hun haft en god grund til at reagere sådan, som hun har gjort så voldsomt? Har hun været udsat for vold gennem længere tid? Var det hendes eneste udvej til at slippe ud af det? Nalu will get a better idea of what punishment she can expect from how the court judges Jens Reimer. His wife has survived her injuries, and now his case can come to court. Police are aware that Jens's working life as a hunter may have contributed much to his problems at home, and his brother John knows the domestic background that could prove crucial to his defense. Jens and his wife were in the middle of divorce proceedings. On the evening of the crime, Jens was out drinking with friends when his wife arrived with her new partner, determined to end their marriage once and for all. Greenlandic hunters like Jens and his brother are no longer the true nomads they used to be. Now they must return to town and to all the comforts and problems of modern life. Many others have had to give up hunting altogether. Jamen, man gik jo over fra, fra at være, at man, man tog ud og, og fiske og, og fangede og, og forsynede sig selv i, i hverdagen og havde en masse gøremål. Så flyttede man ind sådan nogle flotte øh, små æsker der, og så blev man ansat ved KGH og fik lønarbejde. Hvad, hvad sker der så? Ser folk jo selvfølgelig i vist omfang bliver dybt frustreret. Hvad skal man bruge sit liv til? Jeg prøver den anden tilværelse, som fanger, har man jo levet med i tusindvis af år. Og i løbet af no time, så skal man stille sig om til det. Det gør man ikke omkostningsfrit, det er helt sikkert. As society is changing, so is the law. Under the influence of the Danish High Court, local justice in Greenland is under pressure to change, and justice no longer guarantees a lenient verdict. <coughs> But Jens Reimer is still hoping that the judge will stick to the traditional Greenlandic way, and that if all his circumstances are considered, he might even get off with a fine. <laughs> Det er 
Nyamin di sini nak semua itu sah. Isi pet aku dah ingin cakap nak aku dah ingat aku senang mit tak kau. Tahu susah tak kau semua wah isi cikit. Tahu orang dulu dia upis macam ni. Tahu semua kengot de kau nak cut tak ada cut kini ada cut tapi isi mit nak semua cuma cut tu. Amaru tak kau semua wah tak pis tak cuma pis tak tu. Tak kau nusuk. Jadi show berang tak usah maksud pinga. Show tahu cuci kuni atau asal sen tak kau kawan yang asal show yang si sokawan. Wajin ni nak asal sen. Ayuh am dan dan nasi nuni seng nem. Am pesis pesis ayok cuci dah semua. Apa itu nak sok tapi sok minum nak ada tak kiri nak sok seni tu ini ni saya minum kesoi nani. Nama saya. Ia dapat dikira sud. Kotor cina kapok unda sud cina tu Johan Kiat Jens Nils Raima ini usah cina mas ni ya tris itu di sini. Nayo kata jauh sud saya sendiri itu di sini ima tu pinjakan cina kapok. Uki ini maksudnya pinat tuhsi macam ini sesa fenu ini sinar sah usok tuh sahik asam nak fedo. A two-year sentence to an open prison is tough by Greenlandic standards, despite the fact that Jens was lucky not to have killed his wife. The court was not convinced that her behaviour in any way justified the violence of his assault. Det har jo været sådan, at man indordnede det jo efter gerningsmanden. Man så på, hvad gerningsmanden, hvad er han for en, og hvad kan vi gøre for ham? Men det man jo gået bort fra nu med den nye retsvægelseskommission, nu er det jo gerningen og siger, hvad det har han lavet. Det var det gode ved systemet i 50'erne heroppe, at man fandt ud af, hvad er det for mennesker, vi har med at gøre, og hvad kan vi gøre for dem, for at de kan blive gode mennesker. The court sentencing of Jens Reimer does not bode well for Nalu. The circumstances of her crime may not be enough to save her from harsh punishment. Nah, dong itu semua susah kang nak tak? Tahu kami uang akar kap kisah biasa ngah so. Nah, dong yang sudah tamat ini kan masa masa lumina nanti urik kahlo. Pidah elah cung susah cemiru cintia kang istang mana? Tes nun nong kara kisah susah ngah mita mawi budua do. So mitu asun asun nama istaghfar. Akar aku kafeng sama kato kato ino pesen dia aku ayam mitu chicken. Tua ina bi mitu aku aku kasih sini aku cinta suka kasih sini. Tapi dia mitu fiu mana mungkin dia sakit nunggu muka apa macam ni. Det er uforståeligt, at, at Akkal Orok, som er sådan en, en, en flink fyr, som har sådan en godt humør, kunne blive så voldsom over for Nalu, men de utroligste ting kan ske inden for ægteskaber. Det er en arne plads for meget ufred og meget vold, <laughs> som kan synes at være uforståeligt. Den ene ting griber den anden. Judge Kelson knew Akalorak's parents well and often sails to the remote hamlet where they live. Their knowledge of their son's marriage may prove valuable for the investigation into his murder. 
This is the Greenland that used to be, before the colonial resettlement programs of the 1970s forced people to move into towns. It was here that Nalu and Akalora began their married life. Niels Jeremiasen is Akalorak's elder brother. He is more certain as to why Akalorak was murdered, and his opinion points to a less forgiving verdict. Det er muligt, man kan trække lidt fra, ikke? Også, hvor man kan sige, også, jamen, hvad, situation, hvad var hendes situation på det tidspunkt der? Men altså, begynde at kalde det øh, nødret og nødværve, øh, det er lidt svært. Fordi så har man jo altså brugt alt for meget, ikke? Også i forhold til, at, at han eventuelt havde 
havde stukket i nogle løsninger, ikke også? Nalu has now been in police detention for three months. But before the police can prosecute her, they must first establish that she is mentally fit to stand trial. They've invited psychiatrists from Denmark to assess her mental health. Nalu will be hoping to serve a sentence in a Greenlandic prison. However, if the doctors question her sanity, she'll be sent to a mental institution in Denmark and separated from her children. In Greenland, convicted criminals are not kept under lock and key. Instead, they're placed in open institutions to which they are confined at night. But during the day, they're free to find work, to see family and friends, and to retain their contact with society. Jens Reimer has begun his two-year sentence. With good behavior, he'll probably only serve a year. But Jens deeply resents his treatment and he's harboring a grudge. Tem até mais jango que eu mas sou um chani que eu mais pinga isso. A cada vez eu não comi. Que mais nem sabe de coisas nem tudo. Me dá o único que eu não tomo. Que não? A cada vez eu. E mais nem sabe de uma coisa mais que eu nem sei. O ano inteiro está mal mas está com nós todos. Mas não tem mais nem nada mas tem nem nada mais que eu nem nada mais que eu nem. For the judge, this kind of personal slur is an inevitable consequence of delivering justice in a small town. And for Jens, being in prison doesn't mean being deprived of the freedom to use a loaded gun. Once a week, he's accompanied by the prison warden on a hunting expedition. Nu er Jens altså øh, ikke uddannet butiksassistent eller øh, hvad det kunne være. Han er, er fisker og fanger. Jamen, så er det klart, at, at, at så må Jens der beskæftige sig med det, han ved noget om og kan. Det drejer sig om, det er jo at, at få et, et, et helt menneske ud af, af det her, når det er overstået. Og få et menneske ud af det, som kan fungere ude i samfundet. Om det så er med jeres øjne er en lidt besynderlig måde at, at, at gøre det på, det er sådan set fuldstændig ligegyldigt. Hvis vi opnår det, vi vil øh, ved den sanktion her, så synes jeg, det er det, der tætter. Og ikke hvad omverdenen mener om, at, at vi stikker faren en rifle i hånden. While Nalu awaits the results of her psychiatric interview, the police continued to explore her past in their effort to understand why she went so far as to kill. We skal prøve at klarlægge de omstændigheder der ved det drab som som fandt sted. Så vi har afhørt familier og og venner og og de mennesker de var sammen med den aften. Så efterforskningen har spredt sig temmelig vidt omkring også fordi der var nogle 
specielle omstændigheder ved den sag her, som jeg vil komme frem senere. Only a few hundred meters from the police station is the home of Anton Peterson, Nalu's father. For 10 years, he has been struggling to come to terms with his own crime. Okay, you're at your most successful right. A massive engineering report of the children that went to Punikumama, Punikumama. Mais Tava <coughs> I'm <laughs> Mamma The results of Nalu's mental observation have been received. It's taken three months for the psychiatrists to reach their conclusion. Her sanity is no longer in doubt. The prospect of psychiatric treatment in Denmark and complete separation from her children has gone. Nalu is deemed fit to be sentenced and punished in Greenland. <laughs> Nu er nu er jeg med kigtemang, nu er nu er der 
After almost six months of investigation, Nalu's case finally comes before Alulusets District Court. The police, who act as the prosecution, attempt to establish exactly what happened on the night of the murder. <laughs> A memory of the crime may be incomplete, but Nalu's responsibility for the death of her husband is not in doubt. The court must now try to understand why she resorted to murdering him. So, Der er 
A compromise has been reached between the judge and the police prosecutor. With good behavior, Nalu can expect to be released after two years and eight months. Thank you. 